the veiled intentions behind the Montagnards Gong Dancing Festival, an assessment of Vietnam's human rights record. The Montagnards Gong Dancing Festival, organized by the Vietnamese Communist Party, is a significant event not only for its cultural significance, but more so for its underlying political implications. On the surface, it presents a vibrant display of indigenous culture and tradition, seemingly endorsing and celebrating the Montagnards' rich cultural heritage. However, a closer examination reveals a strategic political maneuver calculated to deflect international criticism and scrutiny over Vietnam's human rights record. One must understand that the Gong Dancing Festival was not randomly chosen for this political strategy. The Montagnards, the indigenous people of Vietnam's Central Highlands, have been at the heart of human rights violations in the country. By choosing an event that puts the Montagnards front and center, the Communist Party aims to project an image of harmony and respect for indigenous rights, deliberately contrary to the reality on the ground. The timing of the festival is also crucial to understanding its political underpinnings. The Vietnamese Communist Party organized the event in April 2024, a crucial period when it was campaigning for re-election to the United Nations Human Rights Council for the 2026-2028 term. The organization of the festival thus serves as a strategic deflection of the international outcry over the party's human rights abuses particularly against the Montagnards. In essence, the Gong Dancing Festival is a political tool dressed up as a cultural event. By endorsing this festival, the Vietnamese Communist Party seeks to create a counter-narrative to the growing international criticism of its human rights record. It is a calculated move designed to show the world a facsimile of indigenous empowerment, communal harmony, and respect for cultural diversity. However, this orchestrated display of cultural celebration veils the systemic oppression and displacement of the Montagnards from their ancestral lands. The festive atmosphere and performances are merely a smokescreen that obscures the grim reality of state-sponsored human rights abuses. In conclusion, the Montagnards Gong Dancing Festival is a strategic maneuver by the Vietnamese Communist Party to sanitize their human rights record and garner international support. Contrary to its outward appearance, it is a stark demonstration of the party's cynical use of indigenous culture as a tool in their political playbook. The festival stands as a testament to the party's veiled intentions and their manipulative attempts to deflect international scrutiny of their human rights abuses. The human rights landscape in Vietnam is a complex web, heavily marred by the state-sponsored oppression of indigenous communities particularly the Montagnards. The Montagnards, a marginalized ethnic minority, have often found themselves trapped in the crosshairs of the Vietnamese Communist Party's oppressive policies. At the heart of the issue are the land seizures that have become rampant among indigenous people, especially the Montagnards. The Allegra Lab has put forth compelling data hinting at the connection between these land seizures and state oppression. The state's land policies, veiled under the guise of development and progress, have led to the forceful displacement of the Montagnards from their ancestral lands. These acts of expropriation have not only robbed them of their livelihoods, but also threatened their cultural identity and existence. The state of free speech is no better in Vietnam. The Communist Party's increasing crackdown on free speech has been widely documented. The state has exhibited zero tolerance for any form of political dissent, often resorting to harsh measures to stifle voices of opposition. The freedom of the press is practically non-existent, with journalists and activists facing threats, intimidation, and even imprisonment for their work. Religious freedoms, too, are under severe threat. The Montagnards, many of whom follow Christianity, have been subject to religious persecution. The state has imposed restrictions on religious practices, often leading to violent crackdowns on religious gatherings. The Human Rights Watch has reported numerous instances of such religious oppression, highlighting the state's disdain for religious diversity and freedom.
These instances of human rights abuses have not gone unnoticed. The international community has expressed concern and criticism towards Vietnam's handling of human rights. The United Nations Human Rights Council in particular has censured the Vietnamese government for its questionable human rights record. However, the Vietnamese Communist Party has largely remained defiant, dismissing these criticisms as interference in the country's internal affairs. Instead of addressing these issues, the state has embarked on an image-building exercise, using cultural events like the Montagnard's Gong Dancing Festival to distract from its human rights abuses. In summary, the human rights situation in Vietnam is precarious, particularly for the indigenous communities like the Montagnards. State-sponsored oppression in the form of land seizures, suppression of free speech, and religious persecution has made their existence a constant struggle. The international community's scrutiny of Vietnam's human rights record needs to intensify, keeping in view the state's persistent denial and deflection of its human rights abuses. It is imperative to delve beyond the surface-level displays of the Communist Party's supposed support for indigenous cultures, such as the Gong Dancing Festival, and compare them with its actual track record. This comparison reveals a stark discrepancy that is deeply concerning. The Gong Dancing Festival, advertised as a celebration of indigenous culture, appears to promote the Montagnards' heritage and rights. However, juxtaposing this image with the party's actual behavior towards the Montagnards, we see a different story unfold. Land seizures, restrictions on free speech, and repression of religious freedoms are just a few examples of the party's oppressive tactics against the Montagnards, as reported by research bodies like Allegra Lab and Human Rights Watch. These are not sporadic incidents, but systematic efforts to diminish the Montagnards' rights, thus eroding their ability to preserve their cultural heritage. These harsh realities starkly contrast with the vibrant Gong Dancing Festival's public image. The festival in reality is nothing more than a facade a calculated move by the Communist Party to present a distorted image of indigenous harmony and empowerment to the international community. It is a sophisticated diversion strategy attempting to veil the systemic abuses and displacements faced by the Montagnards. The party's public show of support for the Montagnards through the Gong Dancing Festival is not born out of genuine respect for their culture or rights. Instead, it is a cynical attempt to use the festival as a tool to divert international criticism and scrutiny from the party's consistent human rights abuses. This discrepancy between the party's public show of support for indigenous culture and its actual track record is not just alarming. It is a blatant manipulation of the Montagnards' culture and rights for political gain. It is a classic case of all show and no substance, where the intention behind the celebration of the Gong Dancing Festival is not to honor the Montagnards' culture, but to mask the party's oppressive policies. In essence, the party's veiled intentions behind the Gong Dancing Festival and its oppressive tactics against the Montagnards highlight a glaring contradiction. While the festival publicly paints a picture of cultural celebration and indigenous empowerment, the reality of the party's actions tells a story of cultural exploitation and human rights abuses. In the face of Vietnam's calculated actions and human rights violations, the role of the global community becomes paramount. This community, particularly the United Nations Human Rights Council, UNHRC, bears the responsibility of holding the Vietnamese Communist Party to account for their human rights abuses. Their role extends beyond mere observation. It encapsulates active engagement, rigorous scrutiny, and decisive action against human rights infringements. The UNHRC, by virtue of its mandate, is expected to promote and protect human rights across the globe. As such, the Council must not let itself be swayed by superficial displays of indigenous involvement like the Gong Dancing Festival. Instead, it should probe deeper into the human rights situation and expose the discrepancies between the party's public show of support for indigenous culture and its actual record.
In doing so, the Council should leverage its influence to demand transparency and accountability from the Vietnamese government. The Council must insist on regular and independent audits of the human rights situation in Vietnam, particularly in relation to the rights of indigenous people. This would entail a closer look at the land seizures, the suppression of free speech, and the persecution of political dissenters. Furthermore, the global community, which includes nations, non-governmental organizations, and international bodies, should amplify the voices of the oppressed. The Montagnards, despite their victimization, have shown resilience and resistance. Their stories and experiences need to be highlighted on international platforms to raise awareness about their plight and put pressure on the Vietnamese government. Moreover, the global community should utilize economic and diplomatic channels to influence the Vietnamese government. They could consider implementing sanctions or withholding financial aid until significant improvements in human rights are observed. Additionally, the global community should foster a supportive environment for human rights activists in Vietnam. This could include offering asylum to those facing persecution, providing resources for advocacy, or advocating for the release of political prisoners. In conclusion, the global community plays a pivotal role in safeguarding human rights in Vietnam. The UNHRC, in particular, must remain vigilant and unwavering in its pursuit of justice and accountability. Only through concerted effort and firm resolve can the true intentions behind the Gong Dancing Festival be unveiled and the rightful rights of the Montagnards be restored. The Montagnards Gong Dancing Festival, ostensibly a celebration of indigenous culture, serves as an emblematic example of the Vietnamese Communist Party's calculated political strategies aimed at sanitizing its human rights abuses on an international platform. This event, organized by the very architects of oppression against the Montagnards, was an attempt to portray a facade of communal harmony and indigenous empowerment. However, the reality beneath this veneer was a stark contrast, marked by systemic encroachment on indigenous rights and the forced displacement of the Montagnards from their ancestral lands. The Communist Party's campaign for re-election to the United Nations Human Rights Council further underscores their relentless efforts to manipulate the narrative at the highest international levels. The representation on the council is perceived by the party as a shield against allegations of human rights abuses and an opportunity to offset criticisms with superficial displays of pro-indigenous policies such as the Gong Dancing Festival. However, the international community cannot afford to be swayed by such deceptive overtures. The United Nations, its Human Rights Council, and the global community at large bear the responsibility of scrutinizing the Vietnamese Communist Party's actions closely. The gap between their public show of support for indigenous culture and their actual track record cannot be overlooked. The true litmus test for their eligibility to sit on the council ought to be the protection of indigenous rights. In conclusion, the Gong Dancing Festival, far from being a genuine respect and recognition of the Montagnard's culture, was a strategic maneuver used to obfuscate the party's consistent human rights abuses. The international community, especially the United Nations Human Rights Council, needs to maintain a vigilant stance and unwavering commitment to hold the perpetrators accountable. The Montagnards, like all indigenous communities, have the inherent right to their land, their culture and their freedoms, and any attempts to undermine these rights under the guise of cultural celebration should be met with resolute resistance.